Fantasy Bros. Yay! Hope you guys won your leagues this week. Week two is over. We're heading into week three of the 2022 season. And we're looking at the waiver wire, guys, licking our chops, okay? Who are we going to pick up? Can you get Tua? All right, that's probably the only pick that I would waste, or I wouldn't say waste, but I would use my waiver on a Tua Tag of Viola, absolutely. But other than that, I'm kind of sitting back right now, looking at my league, looking at my team, and saying, nah, man, I'm not going to use a waiver on any of these guys that I'm about to discuss with you. I think they'll, they might be there when the dust settles, and if they're not, well, I'll just have to live without it. But uh, I just want to bring up a few guys uh, to you that I think are, are, are interesting, uh, just maybe a couple talking points on them, and uh, that way you guys can know what I know, and, and uh, we'll all be better for it, okay? So... Checking out the first guy on my list. Now, keep in mind, this rankings is it's not really a true ranking. I numbered them. Mm -hmm. I probably shouldn't have numbered them, but uh, I did anyway, uh, just to kind of organize it. But Trevor Lawrence here at the top. This guy is somebody who I want people to maybe consider a little bit more strongly based on the astrology. Uh, you've got Doug Peterson, who loves to throw the football, right? Um an old quarterback guy, right? Um, he is an Aquarius. That's really good chemistry with Trevor Lawrence. Aquarius and Libras, match maids in heavens. Uh, and I believe their offensive coordinator, also an Aquarius, okay? So uh, I, I do want to double check that. Uh, we should always double check my work, but... The Libra Aquarius, there it is, and his, his receivers. Christian Kirk has great chemistry. Zay Jones has great chemistry. Um, so I really like the potential, the continued potential for Trevor Lawrence to emerge. Um, and so uh, that's what it is, guys. Uh, Gus Edwards, um, I, he's available in my league. I just thought I'd throw that out there to remind you guys real quick. Gus Edwards is going to come back. Those running backs right now in that running game in Baltimore looks atrocious. You know, I might sell J.K. Dobbins if I'm a Dobbins owner. I might get uh, start putting him on the trade block to see what I could get for him before it emerges that this this Baltimore running attack might be broken. I don't know. Uh, it doesn't look good. But uh, uh, Gus Edwards as an Aries, um, you know, we we like Aries this year uh, with Jupiter in that sign. Uh, we like Aries. Speaking of signs that have alignments, right? Uh, Jordan Mason as a Gemini. Uh, Mercury, I believe, or is it uh, Mars is in Gemini right now. Uh, J, uh, Jordan Mason uh, is going to be the running back for the Niners. We know that Tyrion Davis-Price got a lot of looks last week. I think he had around 14 carries, and he is injured with a high ankle sprain. So, uh, Jordan Mason, we know Kyle Shanahan liked him. He's a Gemini. Of course, Sagittarius would really like a Gemini, for sure. If, you're, if you are a uh, jo uh, Jeff Wilson owner, as I am, uh, also an Elijah Mitchell owner, as I am, uh, I would consider greatly picking up Jordan Mason this week. Uh, obviously, these San Francisco running backs have some type of weird... Uh, thing going on. My gosh. Okay. So um, Nelson Aguilar, guys, I really like his astrology with Mac Jones. I really do. Uh, you've got Mac Jones as a Virgo and you've got Nelson Aguilar as a Gemini. And that's pretty sweet, guys. Uh, I do think that has the most favorable chemistry definitely over Devontae Parker and arguably better than Jacoby Myers. So um, he, he seems to be the bit of the deep threat there. And I saw a bit of that game and man, Mac Jones is really accurate, man. Uh, so I do like me some Nelson Aguilar. I'm not going to jump over the moon or, or cut any of my studs for him, but he's there. Something to consider. He does have good astrology. Uh, Logan Thomas, uh, as a cancer and Carson Wentz is a uh, Capricorn. Those are polar opposites. We love to see that. So uh, the tight end situation, as usual, is looking pretty sparse, looking uh, like, <laughs> as far as my league goes, Logan Thomas is the last reasonable option, okay? So I'm putting him on there as a pretty high importance ad. I might even use a waiver on Logan Thomas this week, hard to say. Uh, Kyle Phillips. Now, this is a guy who I wanted, I almost presented him last week, but I didn't want anybody to get him because 
they're playing the Bills. So I didn't want anybody to drop him when they're playing the Bills. He's coming off of a shoulder injury. And so, of course, we're not going to expect big things out of Kyle Phillips, okay? Um, last week, we didn't. He didn't have a big week, of course. But think about this, guys. He already got nine targets in his first game as a rookie, okay? Once this season progresses, by the time the dust is settled... This guy is probably going to be averaging around 10 targets a game uh, by the end of the season. So my gosh, uh, with the Gemini astrology coming from the Leo uh, in Tannehill, oh my gosh, Kyle Phillips, you know, is a really valuable, valuable ad, I believe. So um, he might not emerge until I think his shoulder gets uh, more healed. He did muff a punch, so he's probably a bit in the doghouse. But as the season progresses for a rookie, the sky is the limit with this kid. Uh, you can get him for free in most leagues. I really like Kyle Phillips once again. Uh, Michael Gallup, guys, we uh, here he is, a Pisces. Uh, he's available in my league. So I thought, oh my gosh, I better tell you guys, remind you guys about Michael Gallup. Uh, huge, huge ad. Uh, kind of worth a waiver pick as well. Uh, same idea with Gus Edwards. Kind of worth a waiver pick, actually. Um, so depending on your need at receiver, of course, uh, Pisces is a, has been shown to be a really good alignment uh, with, uh, I think Prescott actually favors Gallup a little bit over Lamb, uh, favoring that going towards that mutable. So later in the season could be even better uh, with uh, Cooper Rush being the quarterback. I think Rush will heavily favor Lamb in that situation, but... Um, when Prescott gets back, it, it could be uh, lights out with Michael Gallup. It could be a beautiful thing. So uh, another final guy I'll bring up to your guys' attention. If you didn't see the Thursday night game, um, Justin Watson had a pretty nice fantasy performance on only two catches, but he really caught my eye, um, and he continues. He did in the preseason, too. He, he's really catching my eye. Um, watching that Kansas City offense, um, of course, this is one of the offenses – we want to have the most uh, attention on this offense. We want to understand this offense the most uh, out of most of the teams. So, uh, and Justin, and still the wide receiver core has yet to really stabilize the true kind of alpha dog. But man, um, Justin Watson's injury history aside, he looks the part, guys. He has that prototypical size and speed combo that Michael Hardman just doesn't have. Uh, Juju looked clunky and slow out there. And uh, we know uh, Valdez Scantley continues to underwhelm. And uh, Valdez Scantley as a Libra, Kelsey's already the vacuum, the Libra vacuum in that environment, expressing that unique Libra energy. So, um, Justin Watson has an Aries. That's a Cardinal pulling Mahomes into, um, into him. So that's a really good alignment in some ways. So um, I, I could see Justin Watson being the guy in Kansas City coming out. So if he gets healthy, guys, um, that's one I'm taking pretty seriously. I won't add him quite yet, but definitely on my radar. Cool, guys. Hope you dig it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what's going on with your trades and stuff too. If you've got any questions about your teams, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, and I got a, another trade. Uh, well, I think tomorrow we might do a trade talk, um, kind of, uh, debate. I just made an excellent trade in my league where I got Waddle before that huge breakout. And I got Jamar Chase also in that same trade. So, I'll teach you guys a little bit about how I made this trade, uh, how I kind of think I hoodwinked somebody in my league a little bit, but uh, it's debatable. So uh, that'll probably be my next video, but let me know what you guys want to see and peace.